Hi guys, Jamie Humphreys here for Six String Alliance and today we are taking a look at the Hugh Burns guitar solo from the classic Jerry Rafferty track, Baker Street. <laughs> Okay, so today we're looking at the Hugh Burns solo from the Jerry Rafferty track, Baker Street. Now, this is something a little bit different from me, but this came about because I just did a video with Warren Hewitt from Produce Like a Pro, and we were looking at the track Baker Street, and I had to break down some of the guitar parts. I thought, what a fantastic guitar solo. We all associate that sax melody with Baker Street and uh, kind of forget about this incredible guitar solo. Scottish-born session guitar player Hugh Burns has recorded on countless tracks and worked with such artists as Joan Armour Trading, Jack Bruce, Paul McCartney, George Michael, Wham! and also Jerry Rafferty. Now this guitar solo really is a classic and I'd put it up there with the likes of some of those great Steve Lukather solos. You know, it's got some memorable melodies, it's got some great blues from Phrasing, some searing bends and some fantastic pentatonic phrasing. This solo was originally recorded on a Les Paul into a Fender amp and today I'm using number one my old faithful Music Man Axis Super Sport that I've been playing now for 21 years fitted with Damasio 36th anniversary PAFs I'm running into the Mesa Badlander and I'm coming direct out of the onboard cab clone IR and I'm using a Tuba 12 open back cab. I'm using the Lone Star cab to try and not have too much weight to the sound and uh, try to replicate a little bit of that fendery tone when it came to the open back cabinet. The solo is based around the D minor pentatonic scale and we start off up at the 20th fret and as we strike that note we slide it down to approximately the 16th fret so you get something like this. We do that three times and then we bend the 20th fret up a whole tone. And then we release that bend. Then we're going to go onto the 20th fret of the B string and we're going to pre bend that up a whole tone. And then as we release it, we bend that note back up again. We then play uh, 20 to 18 on the B, so you get this. And then we're going to bend 20 up a whole tone on the B string. Release that note and pull off to 18. And then play 19 on the G to conclude that first portion. So let's play that slowly. Here we go. Now this next lick uh, is a little bit of a mystery to me and I've gone with one way of thinking but uh, there's the potential to do it two ways basically. The position of the lick is correct because I've watched the music video and you can clearly see where the solo, where Hugh Burns is playing the solo. We start off by bending the uh, 17th fret of the G up a whole tone. Then we play 15 on the B and then we bend the 17 on the G up again by a whole tone. So you get this. Then we play 15 on the B, and then we play 17 on the G, and then we play 18 on the B. Now this is the troublesome section here. So I'll just play that lick uh, one more time for you slowly. 
Now here we have to bend all the way up to an A note and on the record, or on the recording should I say, to me it sounds like he plays that note, uh, 18th fret, and then bends it all the way up to a 22nd. I think it's one of those Jeff Beck, Jimmy Page uh, inspired two whole tone bends. You get this. <laughs> Because on the recording, it just sounds too seamless to get that position shift where you go. You don't hear any audible slide or position shift. I could be wrong, but I've gone with that two whole tone bend. It kind of sounds in the right ballpark. But of course, if you do struggle with that bend, you can play the lick this way. So we go. and then jump up to the 20th fret. Sorry, you replay the 18th fret before that's up. And then bend 20 up. One more time. And you can rip, uh, finish off the lick in that position. So. He's re-picking and releasing the bend, but I think it's around here. So you get this. And there, when you bent up two whole tones, you're then re-picking and letting the bend down, so. Let's play that whole first section of the solo nice and slowly for you. Two, three, four. Okay, now we're into the next half of the solo and we start off again with that opening phrase sliding from the 20th fret down to approximately the 16th fret. So you get this. And then we bend the 20th fret up. And release that note. And then we have this really cool little phrase here. It's got a real nice groove to it and it's a great pentatonic lick. The licks like this are worth their weight in gold to add to your vocabulary. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so this lick we start off by bending 13 up a whole tone on the B string. Back to 13, then 10. Then we pick 12 and pull off the 10 on the G. Double pick 12 on the G, pull off to 10. Play 12 on the D to 10 on the G. Back to 12 on the D. So you get this. And there you're gonna slide from 10 on the A up to 12 on the A and play 10 on the D to 12 on the D. Okay, so let's play that whole section so far. Three, four, one. Okay, here's the next section here, the next portion. Again, some great string bending here. We're gonna have some pre-bends. So we were uh, pre-bending the 20th fret B up a whole tone. And we're just dropping that down a semitone zone. And then pushing it up again. And then we re-strike. And uh, we release that and pull off to the uh, 18th fret of the B. So you get this. And then we're just bending that 20th fret up a semitone. So you get this. Okay, then we have this little pentatonic rundown.
pulling off from the 20th fret B to the 18th fret B. We're doing that three times. Then to 19 on the G, 18 on the B, and then pull off 20 to 18 on the B. And then pull off 19 to 17 on the G, so you get this. And then we do 19 to 17 again. 19 on the D. Back to 17 on the G. And then we play 19 to 17 on the D. And then slide up to 19 on the D. Now I'm not sure if that note's there. I can hear something because the lick kind of fades out at the end of the solo fades out. But I put that note on at the end. It's kind of a nice tag. So you get this. Okay, let's play that entire end section now nice and slowly. Two, three, four, one. Okay, just to finish off, let's play the entire solo nice and slowly. Excuse these uh, big bends. They're kind of hard to play at a slow tempo and to kind of keep things sustaining. So uh, let's play through it anyway. Here we go. Two, three, four, one. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this solo. As with all of my lessons, follow the link in the description and head on over to the Six String Alliance website where you can download the tab for free. Like I said, something a little bit different for me today, not the normal kind of solo that I would look at, but equally as rewarding and uh, yeah, a little bit of a hidden gem really. I know it is a classic, but uh, something that I've overlooked in all the years that I've been teaching guitar and making videos. So a really cool solo to look at. Anyway, that's it from me and I look forward to seeing you here very soon for more Six String Alliance videos. Bye for now.